First up, a tiny street in Las Vegas where lots of the uh, rich people who run Vegas live. That's right. Yeah, we all think about the strip, but the guys who own the casinos, they live on a place called Enclave Court. CNBC's Secret Lives of the Super Rich got a tour of one of the only seven homes in that gated community. This is a $22 million mansion owned by wealthy fans of high fashion. Check this out. The master suite is any girl's dream. It's modeled after the Coco Chanel suite at the Ritz in Paris, and it's divine. Exquisite, perfect. The 24-karat gold sconces hanging from these silk-lined walls are replicas of the ones Coco had. Even the bed is an exact copy of Chanel's. In the master bath, the owners etched an outline of Coco's favorite flower. And what better way to pay homage to the Queen of Couture than designing a closet inspired by the first ever Chanel boutique in Paris? Piano lacquered finish, beautiful Tuscan suede, such a beautiful, beautiful space for your designer gowns and all of your perfect handbags. The house actually has two master closets. The other looks like a Versace store on steroids. Aside from making their closet look like the stores, they also flew in more than a half million dollars worth of trees, a million dollars worth of palm trees, and 2,400 rose bushes because they wanted the Vegas desert to look like Tuscany. So that's what you need to do. Think of how much wow. it costs to keep those things alive. Yeah. A lot water of water. Bill. A lot I mean, of water. in Vegas. All right, let's, uh, let's switch uh, to Monaco, where they had yeah. the Grand Prix, I believe, over the weekend. $450 million penthouse there with a rooftop water slide, and I hope wine drones to bring you wine. <laughs> yeah, lots of stuff on this. It's called the Tor Odeon. It's the tallest building in all of Monaco. Now, the, the five-floor penthouse, it's 550 feet in the air overlooking the French Riviera. It's just beautiful. I was up there. Now, these views will cost around a half billion dollars or Whoa. 450 million euros. And that's the current asking price, 450 million euros. Check out what that money buys. It's called the Sky Penthouse. The apartment's not finished yet, but these renderings show how the mansion-to-be includes its own private rooftop water park with a massive infinity pool and a water slide. You're literally on the edge of the pool, peering down. You can see your own yacht there in the background. You're looking down on the world from up here. You've basically got over 35,000 square feet of space over five floors gives somebody the potential to really start with a blank canvas. Which means the super rich buyer will have to shell out even more cash to finish the over-the-top pad. Somebody who buys this is going to be worth multi-billions, maybe tens of billions of dollars. Right? Exactly. So you think about that, just the shell, the unfinished space is 450 million euros. So to finish that out, more than 30,000 square feet, I, and I pretty soon you're talking real money. I really <laughs> love starting with a blank canvas. Yeah. That's what I insist on. I, I want mean, a blank you canvas. You want somebody else's taste in there? I Please. do not. All right, last, uh, last one, a, a, the ultimate man cave. Yeah, look, there are a lot of super rich in Orange County, California, and in one exclusive gated neighborhood, there's a competition among the homeowners to build the most impressive poker room, and we saw one that's equivalent of the royal straight flush of man caves. The owner of this mega mansion went all in and built a massive, one-of-a-kind man cave, stacking the deck with all the essentials like a full bar, wine cellar, pool table, and more than a million dollars worth of electronics. The automation system that we have installed in this home is the same system that's installed in every Disney theme park in the world. It runs every single ride. But what raises the stakes in this luxury fantasy land are the homeowners' rides. Lots of them. Right now we're spinning around in the car cave. This is the ultimate full house. Two Aston Martins, including a DB5, also known as the James Bond car, a 1927 Bugatti, a 1930 Austin, and these. Six super rare pre-1970s Ferraris, each worth millions. You know, it's not even oh, a man cave. It's like cool. a super subterranean playground, that thing. It's incredible. That was very cool. I love Thank that. Thank you, guys. Be watching tonight, Robert. Thanks. Thank you very much.
Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.